Hello everybody, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss about the most awaited event of this year. Yes, it is not the transit of Jupiter, it is also not the solar eclipse, it is the lunar eclipse which will happen on July 27th. It is almost in the evening Germany time, you can see it when is it for your country your time place and your city and town you will find it in the websites like drik panchang you can check there okay and if you still don't know where is it occurring i mean which place don't worry wherever you are it will affect you either you are in usa or in india but at least it will have an effect on everybody all right so there you go so let's discuss about the lunar eclipse which will occur in the nakshatra of shravan moon will be in the nakshatra of shravan it would have just entered shravan nakshatra okay so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation and you want to know how this eclipse is going to impact you depending on your dasha and what planets you have in cancer and capricorn these two powerful houses now whichever uh, area that axis is falling in your lagna chart and whatever uh, the different dasha systems are telling vimshotri dasha chara dasha narayan dasha and stula dasha and so many dashas are there yogini dasha then please go to my website and you can book a reading and you will find the link of the website in the description of this video below okay and i've also made a video on jupiter's transit into scorpio yesterday and I would like to thank everybody who has appreciated that. So many uh, good comments I have seen in the video. Okay, so let us start today with the lunar eclipse. Okay, so and before I begin, as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So now, where is this eclipse happening? So sun will be in the sign of cancer. It has already entered and moon is in the sign of Capricorn. And Ketu is there. Mars is also there and with sun we have rahu and mercury which is retrograde during the time of eclipse it's actually stationary but you can still say it is it's it will start its retrogression by that time the eclipse is there okay so this eclipse is a very strong one and why do i say this because the proximity of the moon is with ketu is very very high they're almost very near it's like it's like almost one two degrees depending on true node or mean node whatever you take and mars is also very near okay so this is a very 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 powerful eclipse and they say that in the last 100 or 120 years there has not been any eclipse like this okay and this is a lunar eclipse so it is more of the internal uh, thing which will happen whenever an eclipse is happening with the sun and rahu is in contact then there are new beginnings okay but whenever moon and ketu are involved it can show completion of something so for example if uh, moon and ketu and mars they are situated in somebody's third house something related to their siblings can come into completion okay but before discussing that let's discuss on the nakshatra which this is occurring and i will also discuss some remedies that we can do and one specific mantra that we can chant we can start chanting it from today itself okay i mean if you have see if you see this video after the eclipse then also you can do no problem but if you are seeing this before the eclipse then make sure you do it so the nakshatra where this is occurring shravan shravan nakshatra falls within the sign of capricorn from 10 degrees so now what shravan is shravan basically refers to hearing and there are so many other things which it represents but primarily it represents our ability to listen to somebody our ability to understand what that person is going through our ability to comprehend what exactly is happening in an area of life without being judgmental so when the eclipse is occurring in the nakshatra of shravan then it can happen that because as, as i said this is an internal phenomena which can happen and externally there can be some completions so it can happen that we can be forced to hear something which we do not like to hear about ourselves okay wherever this is falling in your chart as per your ascendant that is secondary but the important thing is there are many voices inside us which we know that are troubling us we know the reality of some things in life 
for example suppose somebody has a youtube channel and that person knows the growth of his or his or her channel that this channel is growing like this and this channel can grow at this pace but suppose the person thinks that oh in a night overnight i'll have a million subscribers now internally the person knows that is not possible you cannot have a million subscribers overnight but it can happen that you are not ready to listen to that voice okay and it can show us where we exactly lie what do i mean when i say that it means that we actually deep down inside we know that we are good in this area and we are not that great in this area okay but sometimes we are ignoring that voice which is inside us we know that this is our weakness and we should work on it but sometimes or other many times or other most of the times we keep running away from our weaknesses we always keep telling ourselves no 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 that's not my weakness i will do it i will show it <laughs> okay but now when the eclipse is happening you will hear that voice 10 times more yes i know where it's happening for me i am hearing it there <laughs> i don't know if you are hearing but i can hear it you will see your strengths and weaknesses okay and that will help you to be practically grounded and take decisions in a right way why i am saying because this is in the sign of capricorn capricorn is the original 10th house where you become very practical and you start working you are not in cancer where you are like oh everything is fine the world is nice i'll just keep eating food <laughs> it's not like that it isn't it's in the sign of capricorn and why i say you will be able to hear it 10 times more because now sun is throwing the full aspect yes moon is directly opposite it is purnima that means moon is receiving all the light of the sun all the light of the ego ego is your true self that the manas is able to comprehend now wow i am this person i am not that i was thinking maybe i am that but no i am this actually so now is the best time to work on some weakness which we might have and everybody has some weakness or the other because we have taken birth in kali yuga otherwise we would have not taken birth yes kali yuga people are considered to be backbenchers in spiritual life so now when the eclipse happens i am very sure we will come to hear something which we have been neglecting from very long and the moment we hear it let us sit down and figure out how to work on that and now is the time that we stay in the ground rather than staying in the clouds because now is the is a time when we can get rid of our weaknesses why do i say get rid because the eclipse is happening with ketu and ketu shows letting go of something ketu shows purification basically because ketu is a fiery planet agni purifies if you put gold into fire what happens it becomes more beautiful yes so agni always has this tendency to purify things so whenever any eclipse is happening with ketu there is a very high possibility for purifying something and when we do that purification our life improves we reach those places where we never imagined we could live we, we could reach i mean so now if we know that we are not going to have success in one area let us stop that and let us do that which we know we will be successful okay now many people will say oh how do i know where will i be successful where will i not be successful well let me tell you two things the first thing is check check where this is happening in your lagna chart internally we will know that oh there's something going on in this area in that capricorn cancer axis okay and secondly it will uh, depend on which dasha you are which planets are sitting in your birth chart in your cancer or capricorn axis that will be individual for all the 7 billion people and that cannot be uh, predicted like this in one video for that we have to individually see each and every chart individually we have to analyze the horoscopes what if jupiter is there then it will have a different flavor what if venus is there then it will have a different flavor for that we have to see overall the overall chart so if you uh, tell me that oh i have uh, my lagna lord here well i cannot tell you what's going to happen because i have to see the whole chart so whatever it is but sit down and close your eyes and try to meditate you will get some answers because the nakshatra of shravan is very interesting shravan nakshatra as you know is connected to 
the great Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj is one of the twelve Mahajans. Yes, yes, yes. Let's chant the shloka again. In the Shrimad Bhagavatam, there are mention, there is a mention of twelve great personalities, Mahajans. So I am Bhuna Radhasambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu. Prahlado Janako Bhishma Balirvaya Sakhi Vayam. This is spoken by none other than the god of death, Yamaraj himself. Yamaraj speaks this to the Yamadutas when they go to hijack the soul of Ajamil, but they fail. The story of Ajamil is interesting. That's a topic of some other day. But Yamaraj is telling to all his Yamadutas that. Swambhu Narada Shambhu. There are twelve great personalities. Swambhu is Lord Brahma himself. Narada is Narad Muni. Shambhu is Lord Shiva. Kumaro Kapilo Manu. Kumaro is the four sons of Brahma. Yes, his uh, Manas. As they say, they are his Manas Putra. Manas Putra means they, they, those who have been formed by Lord Brahma's mind, Manas. Then Kapilo Kapil Muni. Then Manu, Swambhu Manu is the other one. Swambhu Narada Shambhu Kumaro Kapilo Manu Pralad. Pralad is Pralad Maharaj himself for whom Nursing Dev appeared. Janak. Janak Maharaj is father of Sita Devi. Pralado Janako Bhishma. Bhishma is Bhishma Pitama himself. The one and only hero in the Mahabharat. Yes, one who has also defeated Parshuram. Pralada Janako Bhishma Balir Vayasakhi Bayam. Bali is Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj is also in the dynasty of Pralad Maharaj. Vayasakhi is Sukhdeva Goswami, the speaker of the Srimad Bhagavatam. And Vayam means we. So Yamaraj is telling myself included in that. <laughs> okay. So these are 12 great personalities. And whenever, as, and also it is said, Mahajano Yena Gata Sapanta. Whenever we have doubt in what is right and wrong, what scriptures say we should do and what we should not do, we should always go and check the lives of these personalities. And Bali Maharaj once. He wanted to conquer the heavens and the entire universe. <coughs> and then Lord Vishnu knew that this will not, not do good to the universe. And Lord Vishnu also knew that because Bali Maharaj is actually in the line of Prahlad Maharaj. He is a very, very great personality. But because of the association of demons and especially uh, gurus like Shukracharya, he had become very materialistic for some time. And he wanted to rule over the entire world. And then he was doing 100 yagyas. So he had finished almost all the yagyas and the last yagya was remaining. And it is said if you do 100 ashwamed yagyas, you become Indra. Yes, because Indra is known as Shatakratu. Shatakratu means one who has done 100 yagyas. 100 is Shatak. So, uh, and the procedure is before the yagya is completed, you have to give charity to the Brahmins. And then Lord Vishnu took the form of a very small boy. <laughs> he came in as Vaman, Vaman Avatar, and then he said to Bali Maharaj, My dear Bali Maharaj, will you give me what I ask? <laughs> and then Bali Maharaj said, Yes, I will obviously give you what you want. And then he said, What do you want? He said, I just want three steps of land, that's it, I want nothing more than that. And then Bali Maharaj started laughing. He said, Wow, I am the king of the entire world. You are asking me three steps, and that to your steps are like baby food. What will you get by uh, taking three steps? Ask something, big man. Then uh, Vamandev said, One who is not satisfied by three steps will not be satisfied even if he has the entire universe. And then when he says this, Shukracharya immediately understands. Shukracharya is the guru of the demons. He immediately understands this person is not <laughs> an ordinary person. Because Shukracharya is also a divine being. He is also a great personality. So he understands this. He is Lord Vishnu himself. And then Shukracharya says to Bali Maharaj, My dear Ma Bali, please don't, <laughs> don't give him the promise that you will give him three steps. If you give, he is going to strip you of everything and he will make you into a pauper, into a beggar and you will be penniless. He is the Supreme Lord Vishnu himself. He is going to take everything from you. Nothing will be spared. And then Bali Maharaj says to Shukracharya, well, anyways, everything is his ultimately. <laughs> yes, who am I? Who are you? Who is? Who are other people? Everything is his ultimately. He is the uh, bhokta of everything, as Lord Krishna says in the Gita. Bhokta ram yagya tapasam sarvalo kamaheshwaram 
सुरीदम सर्वभूताना ज्ञातवाम शांति मृच्छति वन वू अंडरस्टैंड आई एम दि एंजॉयर कंट्रोलर एंड प्रोपराइटर ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट एक्जिस्ट ऑप्टेन स्पीस एंड ऑल्सो आई एम दि मोस्ट वेल विशिंग फ्रेंड ऑफ एवरीबडी एंड देन बलि महाराज डिनाइज द इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हिज गुरु शुक्राचार्य एंड ही टेक्स अ प्रॉमिस ही सेस I, the descendant of the great Prahlad, I vow that I will give you three steps of land. And then Vaman Dev expands his form, and he measures the entire universe in one, one in one foot. And in the next foot, he measures the entire uh, systems, where the planetary systems which are below: Atala, Sutala, Tala, Tala, Mahatala, Patal. My God. And then above, yes, Mahaloka. There is. Uh, swarga loka and there satya loka is also there we will des- we will discuss about those 14 planetary systems later in detail so and then pali maharaj is a beggar now he doesn't have anything and then vaman dev tells him that oh bali you are a big liar you cheated me <laughs> you said you will give me three steps but now you don't have anything what will you give and then bali maharaj said don't worry i still have something he said i have my head so please put your third put on my head and then bali maharaj surrenders himself and vamande puts his feet over bali maharaj's head and then that's it bali maharaj is now a beggar <laughs> and then vamande says that i am so 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 happy i am so happy i am so happy with you that you have selflessly given everything so i give you a blessing now in the next manvantara you will be the indra the current indra's name is purandar and when the next manu comes 14 manus are there in one kalpa of brahma one day of brahma in the next manvantara you will be the indra and you will be undisputed nobody will be able to challenge you then and now till this manvantara ends i will give you sutala sutala is a subterranean heavenly planet it is below the uh, bhuloka and it is said to be 1000 times more opulent than the heavenly planets where indra resides amravati and you will enjoy all the opulences and not only that i myself i will be your caretaker i will be the guard i will be the security guard and whoever tries to enter there uh, he will have a, he will have a bad time <laughs> because i will personally stop him and then bali maharaj becomes the ruler of sutala and now he is residing there he is been protected by vamandev himself so basically what's the lesson from this is when we give up something bad then the returns that we get is many 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 times fold okay so especially on this day of eclipse what we can do is on 26th or 27th we can try to give up some bad habit which we have anything which the scriptures do not permit because whenever scriptures are saying don't do this it is not because they want you to uh, they want to restrict you it is because they want you to be happy that is all that is only their purpose their purpose is not to uh, constrict your happiness their purpose is to increase your happiness okay so now i will not go and list the give the list of bad habits that you already know what are bad habits right and if you are having some bad quality that you talk very harshly to somebody you are indifferent or whatever it is if you think that you have this weakness then try to work on it try to give this up and as bali maharaj gave the all all the things whatever he had and when he got back it was sutala which was more opulent than even the heavenly planets where indra resides so we will also see that the returns which we get will be enormous okay and this can involve so many things in the chart and the day can be a bit intense because mars and ketu are also in close proximity and for that what we can do is we can chant different different mantras of vishnu we can chant om namo narayanaya this mantra we can chant om namo bhagavate vasudevaya we can chant but there's a specific mantra for vamandev that we can chant it is om namo bhagavate shri vamanaya this mantra we can chant okay so if you are watching this before the eclipse you can start chanting this 108 times every day i mean that's why i have uploaded it today on sunday so that you have around 5 days so you can chant and even after the eclipse if you have seen this then you can also keep chanting this for at least 5 days okay so 
I would suggest we can all chant this mantra. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. There's another mantra we can chant. Om Namo Bhagavate Tri Vikramaya. But that's not required. That is uh, for some other reason. I would say you don't chant this. Better you chant this mantra. Okay. So that is all. And uh, it is a very good time to chant mantras and to give donations especially. Okay. So try to give uh, donations. Try to help people. And you will get uh, returns in many, many, many times. Okay. And on that day or one week before or one week after whatever voice you hear inside please do not neglect it okay please do not think that oh this is just coming from somewhere no this is the voice which narayan is telling you shravan nakshatra is narayan himself narayan is telling this hey look don't do this do this okay and whatever you think is not good for you get rid of that thing and that can involve anything if you are think if you if you are having habits like drinking smoking watching pornography or visiting prostitutes or masturbation or doing any sorts of nefarious activities try to get rid of those things now and try to cultivate goodness get up early in the morning then read the scriptures chant mantras meet holy people travel to holy places yesterday i was in berlin rath yatra was there fantastic it was again we have another rath yatra in hamburg amazing it is so try to visit these places try to go and meet spiritual people go to satsang programs yes and then maintain a sattvic lifestyle and by this you will see that this eclipse energy is not that tough after all we can uh, go through this cross through this okay so there you go beautiful uh, eclipse the nakshatra of shravan and it's a very good time to see who we are actually let's hear ourselves okay and not deny who we are and if you want to know how this eclipse will affect you personally and how this uh, eclipse is actually going to manifest in your life then you can go to my website and you can book a reading or if you want to know if there's a possibility that you get married or you don't get married i mean during this time of eclipse or you have a promotion or there can be some issues in your job or whatever it is then you can always go to my website and book a reading okay thank you very much wish you all the best for the eclipse and i hope everybody will chant this mantra once at least okay 108 times till the time this eclipse is there you can chant okay and somebody had asked me some other questions that uh, can we visit temples or can we not visit temples well uh, i would leave that to you if temples are open you can visit if they are not open you need not visit but the next day you can visit but donations you can definitely give you can give there's no problem with that you can uh, give physically some donation some money or some food to anybody to to brahmins especially or you can do online transactions also that is also permitted so there's no problem and good luck w- utilize the energy of this eclipse properly and i hope things will be good for everybody okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you tata